Iba't ibang usapin tungkol sa lalo pang pagpapabuti ng relasyon ng Pilipinas at New Zealand, tinalakay at napagkasunduan ni na Pangulo Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. at Prime Minister Christopher Luxon. Isyo sa South China Sea, napag-usapan din si Kenneth Pasyente sa detalye. Naging produktibo ang bilateral meeting ni Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. at New Zealand Prime Minister Christopher Luxon sa official visit nito sa bansa. Iba't ibang usapin ang tinalakay at pagkasunduan sa pagpapaganda ng relasyon ng dalawang bansa. Ayon kay Pangulong Marcos Jr., ito ay magbibigay daan para sa mas malawak na kooperasyon sa pagitan ng Maynila at Wellington para sa iba't ibang sektor kasama ang trade, investment, defense, environment, climate change, maritime security, people-to-people -people linkages at iba pa. On the economic front, the Philippines will continue to partner with New Zealand. In maximizing the benefits of the rules-based trading system is strengthened by international arrangements such as the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation, or APEC, the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, or RCEP, and the ASEAN, Australia, and New Zealand Free Trade Area. We will remain committed as fair and active stakeholders in this globalized and highly connected economic system with the end goal of further realizing inclusive and sustainable development for our peoples. Binigyang diin ng dalawang leader ang pagtalima sa international rules-based order sa issue ng South China Sea, kung saan ipinunto nila ang freedom of navigation sa naturang teritoryo nang naaayon sa international law. Kinilala rin nila ang 2016 Arbitral Award na nagtatalaga sa karapatan ng Pilipinas kaugnay sa teritoryo na nasa loob ng exclusive economic zone ng bansa. The Philippines welcomes New Zealand's continued commitment to advocate for the peaceful resolution of disputes in accordance with international law, including through the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. Your support, Mr. Prime Minister, and that of the New Zealand government strengthens the overarching principles on which our continued march to prosperity and regional security are anchored. Nakatakda rin pumasok sa isang kasunduan ng Pilipinas at New Zealand kaugnay sa defense upang paigtingin ang kapayapaan sa rehiyon. Nag-commit din ang dalawang bansa na kapwa sila pipirma sa Mutual Logistics Supporting Arrangement o MLSA sa pagtatapos ng 2024, gayon din sa status ng Visiting Forces Agreement o SOFA. Nagkasundo rin si Pangulong Marcos Jr. at Prime Minister Luxon na itaas ang bilateral ties ng Pilipinas at New Zealand sa Comprehensive Partnership sa taong 2026. Nagbahagi din sila ng interes na pangalagaan ng kabayapaan at katatagan sa usapin ng maritime domain. Accordingly, we look forward to the institutionalization of our bilateral endeavors in maritime security that will have our respective law enforcement and civilian agencies working together to address common threats at sea. Our comprehensive maritime cooperation is envisioned to deal with a wide range of issues from piracy to illegal, unregulated and unreported fishing, terrorism in the maritime domain, contraband smuggling, wildlife trafficking, amongst others. Samantala, ipinunto ng gobyerno ng New Zealand na handa silang tumulong sa Pilipinas tungo sa kasaganaan at seguridad para sa dalawang bansa. President Marcos and I have reflected on the challenges faced by our region and the international environment. It is two Indo-Pacific dem democracies. We share values and a common outlook on the world of here in the Philippines in the immediate region. Mananatili si Luxon sa bansa hanggang ngayong araw. Ito ang unang pagbisita ng isang New Zealand Prime Minister sa Pilipinas sa nakalipas na labing apat na taon. Kenneth, pasyente para sa Pambansang TV sa Bagong Pilipinas.